Welcome to tonight's game. It promises to be a good one between the San Francisco Dons and the Cincinnati Bearcats. Number one is one of the players that you're going to want to pay close attention to tonight. Hey, Brad, this guy can virtually take control of the game at both ends. He can shoot it in your face, and he can come up with a stop on a defensive end. The Bearcats will undoubtedly feed off his play in this contest. The Bearcats should be in for an easy one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. First, the point guard has to take control of the game, and he has to dictate the tempo and the pace. Next, make good passes and force the other team to play honest defense. And lastly, get your man on your hip after the shot, lock out, and get after those boards. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. That's picked off. Hey, kid's got great defensive court sense. Number 21 receives the ball. And the ball goes out of play. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Side jumper drains it. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He'll regroup the offense. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Inside. There's the fake. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Drops the bucket despite the harm. And the fans are going wild. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. Now they'll bring it up. Ramos handles the feed. He wants a three. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then so. Hey, if it wasn't for his play, that'd be in big trouble, Brad. Someone else needs to step up. You really need to protect the ball around these guys. Defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? He's money with the shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. The ball goes out of play. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Stolen away. They push it up on the break. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Inside. Oh, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot. Gets the rejection. Ramos 
Handles the pass. Terrific block shot. He's a dominated blocking shots on the interior. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Looking for a good shot. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Tries for two. San Francisco are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Gave it up. Gilliam receives the pass. He shoots from the top of the key. Tickles a twine. Newton is animated and ready to go. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He launches the bomb, gets it to go. <laughs> Trying to pack it inside, picks off the lazy pass. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Shiver comes up with it. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. He makes a nice shot fake. They're working around the perimeter. Steals a pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Now they work it around the perimeter. He bombs from outside. Sinks it. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Ramos looks to be down emotional. I see. And one. Are you kidding me? Hey, he threw that down with authority, baby. Make a statement, young man. Make a statement. The Dons are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. He buries it. Basic. Looking for contact. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Borishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> and the low block. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Three. He shows the sweet touch. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Great play to take that to the basket. There they come with a double team to stop it. With a deep shot from outside. Roll that one back.
pressure, great double team, really explosive. Way off target. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. Shivers picks up the foul, second team foul. Dick, how's our focus player doing so far? I know it's a little bit earlier, but what are you seeing? Well, I think he's playing well, but unfortunately, his teammates are not helping. I mean, he can't win if just one guy's going to make plays. This one looks like it might be over early, Dick. Can't argue that so far, but there's still a lot of ball left. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Goes up for two. I'll tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Looking for a good shot. The skip pass is picked off. For two. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing now, my friend. They work it around the perimeter. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. He shoots from the top of the circle. Palmer from downtown. On the outside. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball in the deck. Where's he going? Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely, getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Way out, blocks the shot. There's a double team waiting there. Both teams looking to get things going here. Here they go into transition. Fires it down. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. down low there's a drop step and oh good defense I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot very poor job with the drop step very slow one mistake on a double team and it's a four on three and that usually means points the Dons have a mismatch in the post you're right Brad there is a mismatch tries for two I tell you a terrific shot really impossible to get a piece of that baby Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Off the rim and no good. Easy one. Are the right guys stepping up on the double team dick? Yeah, but they're stepping up too late. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Cross court. With a deep pass. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He puts up the tray. It's good. Up 
two. In and out. Defensive transition's been very good. Tries to get the D to bite. Nick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Attention just doesn't beat him to the basket, not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Intercepted. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I'll tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. The Bearcats go to the line for the first time in this game. First one is good. Misses the second shot. They clear the defensive rebound. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. There's a bad pass right to the defender. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Picks off the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 21 takes it away. Good athletic move. Very athletic. He's got great athleticism. For two. I love this guy hook. He cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Up and inside. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Sinks the shot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Picked out of the air. Terry look from three-point land. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. From left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Nice move with a face-up. I'll tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Moving it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Here's a double team. He fires it up. Buried it. Gave it up. Takes away the pass. Flowers. Picks. And they're going to count it. Determination, baby. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us here. Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Look at that 
that spacing. Puts it up, looking for contact. Shiver makes the finger roll. They get that rejected. Now they work it around the perimeter. Here's the three ball. Way off target. Looking for the foul. Good job defensively. Fast break possibility coming. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. Oh, big time screen set on the defender. They'll work it around the arc. Time to pick up the defense here now. He shoots from right in the circle. Replay of the night, baby! Number one with the fake. The turn, the fadeaway jumper. You talk about versatility, there aren't many guys that are going to make that fadeaway jump shot. Great touch, impossible to block that shot. He tries the three ball. Off the rim and no good. He up fakes. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Two for one opportunity. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. In the paint. Tries for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that, baby. Accepts it. On the outside. Gets it back out. Stolen away. Goes up for two. Gets it to fall. With the big shot, he clangs the three-point attempt. At halftime, the Duns lead by 20. Let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Shiver has played a pretty good game, but pretty good isn't going to be enough to help him on the scoreboard tonight, I don't think. I think he's taking what the opposition has given him and not being aggressive enough. Look for him to be more assertive in the second half. Dick, as a coach, heading into the second half, focus player update, and uh, you know what it takes. What is it going to take for this young man? Well, I think they got to get him the ball right away and have him attack the basket. I think he's got to be able to become much more aggressive on the offensive side. With a little baby hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. On the outside. Picked off. They're going to move it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Gilliam draws the personal. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. Out there, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Second one is no good. Takes the rebound. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast play. They scored seven in a row. Here he comes defensively at him on the low block. Dick. 
tough time three quarter position trying to deny but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really doesn't. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. So forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. He hits the shot. Pump fakes. Too physical. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. Gave it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Pass down low. There's a drop step and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Side, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He shoots from the top of the key. The Bearcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. On the inside. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Fakes the shot. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. The Dons lead by 17. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. There's a high screen. He gets the shot to fall. Turnover City, that will always really the gate in the offense. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. Working it around the perimeter. The ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. As you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city! I'll tell you one thing, absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. For two, knocks it down. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. He used the screen beautifully to free himself for the easy deuce. Fakes a jumper. Up fake. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. 
They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Double team now. Bad angle. I thought he does a great job getting close position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. And they get the turnover. For the bucket. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Takes it away. Buries it home. That's an 8-0 run. the personal in personal picks up the foul I tell you poor play defensively look at the facial expression They're working around the perimeter he attempts the three way off target Number 21 grabs it. Look at that space. He's got some room. He takes the shot off the baseline. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Working around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. He shoots from the angle. Drains the shot. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, great spin move to the basket. Number 10 is looking for some encouragement from the fan. Brad, he wants some fan support for this offensive possession. Nice high post screen. Tries for two. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Gives it up. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. And he'll kick it back outside. He tries to knock down the three. Scorches the net. Wow, let's check out the replay. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket.
Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He unloads. Gets it to go. The Bearcats love to recruit not only great basketball players, but great athletes. Well, they feel that athletic players flourish in their style of play. Now the high screen for two goes. and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. High post screen, gonna use it? They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Dump it inside. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. The outside gave it up entry pass in the paint makes it <laughs> try to come up with a steal and they do try to draw some contact he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score Momentary look from three-point land. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Working it around the perimeter. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, despite his performance, he has been unable to get his teammates all on the same page. There's a lot of confusion and lack of focus down here right by the bench. He continues to stress to them, relax, play your game. He can't do this alone, Brad. Shoots it. Dick, where's the defense coming up short here? Hey, they're really not, Brad. The O just has it going on. <laughs> Way out on top, controlling the ball. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle. Goes in. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Got a nice screen. The Bearcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That he's on fire. On the outside. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boards like they have. Yeah, that helps. There they come with a double team to stop it. Ten seconds to get it off. Looks at the three. The Bearcats are trailing by 14. Up and inside. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Steals 
the ball. Here they are on the break. Jumps in. Buries it. And the ball goes out of play. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. Whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Jump hook from the low block. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious scrub with their shooting, Brad. With a great block. Poor job on the offensive end. Great job defensively rotating to the basketball. They'll work it around the arc. Takes away the pass. There's the trap. Shoots. Got it. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. The ball goes out of play. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Jumps into the defender. Perfectly executed. On the outside. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. it around the perimeter goes up for two perfectly executed here's the toss back out from the post I tell you coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer that spin move not going to work against the defense like that I tell you they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Up, easy one. Gave it up. They get the ball down low and he hips up with his man and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't pull that, baby. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? For two, sweet looking shot. He is sweet, he really is. In the paint. him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. As we see the game situation here. Hey Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in post games. In the paint. Or the bucket. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. They work the perimeter. He lets it fly. 
Rims out. The point guard gets the pass. Moving it around the perimeter. He fires from long range. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important on the talented boards out there. Yeah, that helps. The Bearcats are going to call a timeout. And with that, we got a break. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. All right, thanks, Aaron. Let's get back to the action. That bucket cuts the lead to one. I told you there was a lot of time, Brad. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I thought doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. We're ready to get back to the action. The Bearcats still have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. Tries for two. Up, easy one. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. Goes up for two. I love this guy, Hook. He can't uplock that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? The Bearcats throw a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. In the paint. And he'll kick it back outside. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. He strokes it. He shows the sweet touch. Change things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. Launches a prayer. He missed. Dick, we look now that the game is over at our focus player, and I don't know if it was the defensive focus by the other team, but he didn't have it tonight. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. It's so essential for the star player to really respond. He didn't respond at all in a positive way, and it affected his teammates as well. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Cincinnati comes away with the W in this matchup. They expected to be the victor. They just didn't expect it to be this close. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.